guys, Cooper Carter here for G66, and I am thrilled to introduce to you the latest and greatest from Fractal Audio Systems, the FX8 Multi Effects Pedal Board. This is an effects only pedal board designed for use with amplifiers, and it features the same state of the art, industry leading Fractal Audio Systems effects that we've all come to know and love from the Axfx2 line of products. The FX8 also features integrated amplifier relay and MIDI switching capabilities. The same scenes feature featured on the Axfx that allows quick switching of multiple effects bypass states. In addition to two expression pedal inputs for external control and full integration via USB with the FX8 Edit software editor. In this first video of many to come, I'm gonna focus on four topics. First, I'll walk you through setting up the FX8 for use with the four cable method or 4CM. The four cable method allows you to place the effects in the FX8 either before your amplifier or inside of the amplifier's effects loop, giving you control over pre and post effects. Second, I'm going to walk you through setting up scenes, which as I mentioned before, function exactly the same in the FX8 as they do in the Axfx2, allowing you to quickly switch on and off groups of up to eight different effects within one preset. Then I'm going to show you what I think is the most unique feature and one of the most exciting things about the FX8, its ability to externally control any switching on your amplifier via relay. And finally, I'm going to walk you through setting up an expression pedal for use with the FX8. In this case, I'm going to use Fractal's incredible EV1. For those of you who already have an FX8, this video is meant to serve as a quick getting started guide. And for those of you who don't already have one, I hope this video gives you a great overview of just how versatile this incredible new unit is. The FX8 allows a wide variety of effects routing configurations. It allows you to place up to eight effects in series or parallel, but more importantly, it allows you to place any of these effects either before your amplifier or inside of your amplifier's effects loop if it has one, effectively splitting your board at any point you want between pre and post. To take full advantage of these capabilities, you're gonna need four instrument cables, hence the name four cable method, and an amplifier with an effects loop. You're going to, of course, have the first instrument cable coming out of your guitar. This instrument cable is going to go into the in or pre of the FX8. Your next instrument cable is going to come out of the out pre-left and into the front input of your amplifier. Your next instrument cable is going to come out of the amp's effects loop send and into the FX8 in post left. Finally, you're gonna use your fourth instrument cable to come out of the FX8's out post left and into the amplifier's effects loop return. The four cable method gives you the freedom to place effects either pre or post at will. So for example, you could have an even division of four effects in the pre and four effects in the post effects loop, or you could have, for example, one effect pre and seven effects in the effects loop. It's really up to you and what your needs are for each preset. So for example, if you just need one compressor in the pre and then everything else in your preset is a modulation effect or a time-based effect, go ahead and set a one slash seven division where the compressor comes first and then you have seven open slots to put post effects. Of course, you could always use the FX8 only in the effects loop of your amplifier if you're using it exclusively for, for example, time-based effects like delay or reverb or modulation effects like flanger or rotary. the FX8 is also great in front of an amplifier that doesn't have an effects loop. So like the AxeFX2, the FX8 lets you program and seamlessly access eight different configurations of the bypass states and the XY states of the effects in your preset. So for example, scene one could have all the effects in your preset except the reverb bypassed, so you're just hearing your clean amplifier tone with a little bit of reverb. 
Scene two could add a low gain drive to the mix to add a little bit more of a rhythm type character to the tone. And then scene three could feature an entirely different drive on the Y state for a lead and add in a delay on top of the reverb. Each one of these scenes would then be immediately accessible by switching to them. Now in all these ways, scenes in the FX8 work exactly the same way as they do in the AxeFX2. But there's one big addition in the FX8 that is scene assignable. Most modern amplifiers, and even a lot of the vintage ones, include foot switches to change some aspect of the amplifier's tone, whether it's on a vintage amp switching on a tremolo, or on a more modern amp channel switching the amp from a clean channel to a rhythm channel to a drive lead channel. Since the FX8 is designed to be used with physical amplifiers, it includes two relay outputs which can be used to change settings on your amplifier. And as I mentioned before, the states of these two relays are each scene assignable. So for example, in scene one, you could have your amplifier on its clean channel with a compressor pedal and a little bit of reverb. And then when you switch to scene two, you could have the relay switch the amplifier to its dirty channel, turn on a drive, and turn on a different delay so that you have a lead tone. I really don't think I can overstate what a game changer it is to have relay switching capabilities in a multi-effects pedal like the FX8, especially on a scene assignable basis. Usually you'd be doing this kind of switching with your amp's proprietary pedal separately or with a MIDI controlled separate rack controller of some kind. But here the FX8 is not only changing your effects, but it's taking over all the amp switching capabilities and it's doing it on a scene assignable basis. I'm gonna do a video in the near future that's gonna go into some of the more detailed aspects of this, including the other thing the FX8 can do, which is send out separate MIDI commands to MIDI controlled pedals or MIDI controlled aspects of an amplifier. So finally, I wanted to walk you all through the very easy process of setting up an expression pedal for use with the FX8. We're gonna be using the Fractal Audio Systems EV1, which is both an expression pedal and an analog volume pedal, but here obviously we're gonna be using it as an expression pedal in one of the FX8's two expression ports. First, connect your expression pedal to the pedal one or pedal two jack with a TRS cable. Then press setup, followed by the number two foot switch to select the input output or IO menu. Press the page button until you reach the pedal page. Make sure that the pedal type is set to continuous, and then navigate to the pedal calibration function and press enter. Now just follow the on-screen instructions to perform a calibration. So now that our pedal's calibrated, let's set up a wah pedal. Of course, first we're gonna need a wah block in our preset. I always put wah pedals first, so we'll navigate to the first empty block and turn the value knob until we get to wah. Now we're going to hit edit. On page one, select the control parameter by slightly turning the C knob beneath the display. Notice the modifier symbol beneath the on-screen knob. Any parameter in the FX8 with this symbol, whether it's a knob or a line item in a menu, can be modified with either an internal or external controller. I'm gonna go over this in more detail in a later video. Once the control parameter is selected, press enter to show the modifier screen. By default in the FX8, external one is set to the pedal one jack, so on the modifier screen, use the value knob to change the source to external controller one. Now test your pedal. The wash should work when you move the pedal. You'll also see the dot move on the graph. Default values should be fine here, but if you want your wah pedal to activate when you move your expression pedal, select an auto engage value that suits your playing. Now store the preset by pressing store, enter, and then enter again. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the FX8 with me. Again, this video is just a quick introduction to the pedal. Please stay tuned to this channel, G66, and to my channel, Solo A Week, for more FX8 demos and tutorials coming up soon. Until then, take care, guys. Oh, <laughs>